Today we're going to talk about how humans became humans. One of the most important things about humans is our brain. We have one of the largest brains of any animal. In order to understand how our brains got so big, we first have to learn about how our bodies make themselves. Our brains live inside our skulls. Since they have to fit inside, our brains can't get any bigger than our skulls are. Scientists call this a constraint. Human skulls are much bigger than chimpanzee skulls because they have to fit our bigger brains. As you can see, the human brain is the biggest in the picture. The red area is a part of the brain called the prefrontal cortex. Scientists have shown that this part of the brain is one of the things that makes us so smart. When the human skull got bigger, this is the part of the brain that grew up to fill in the extra space. The chimpanzee brain is much smaller than the human brain. This is because it has to fit inside the chimpanzee's smaller skull. Our bodies are composed of a huge number of cells. Every cell contains something called DNA, which basically serves as a blueprint for how our bodies grow. DNA is what tells your body what to do when you are the size of just one cell and throughout the entire rest of your life. The information in DNA is passed on from parents to kids and is responsible for the way that you look and respond to the environment. DNA has an alphabet too, but instead of our 26 letter alphabet, DNA only uses four letters, A, T, C, and G. Sometimes when these letters are being copied inside your cells, the cell gets it wrong. We call this a mutation. A mutation can be the addition of an extra letter, the loss of a letter, or the changing of one letter to another. The little changes add up over time and we call that process evolution. The evolution of humans and our cousins, the great apes, is full of these mutations. Mutations are responsible for all of the diversity we see in the world today. These four letters can be combined in a bunch of different ways. These combinations are what carry all the information that makes you, you. For example, the first sentence shown here makes perfect sense. Genetics is so cool. But, if you delete one of the letters, the sentence doesn't make sense anymore. What's an ool? This is one of the things that can happen when a letter of your DNA gets lost. Humans and great apes are pretty different though, and so scientists have been trying to find the mutations that make the biggest differences. The mutation that we're going to talk about today is one of the big, important ones that really helps make humans human. As far as we know, humans are the only species on Earth with this mutation. This experiment talks about and gives evidence for what is thought to be one of the most important mutations that happened to the monkey-like organism that humans evolved from, also known as the common ancestor. The change they found might be what lets our brains grow so big. It is a change in part of the DNA, also known as a gene, that creates something called myosin. This kind of myosin is only found in jaw muscles, and it tells the muscles how big to grow. Within the sequence of the myosin gene, a one-letter deletion occurred, which made it so that the myosin wasn't made right. This meant that the muscles in the jaw didn't know to grow anymore. So the jaw muscle stayed small, which in turn made the bones of the jaw that connect to these muscles smaller as well. This mutation can be seen in every single human on Earth, while the normal sequence of the gene is seen throughout all of our evolutionary cousins. The scientists that identified this mutation think that when the jaw muscles got weaker, it allowed the bones of our heads to grow bigger. This made for some extra room in our skulls for a bigger brain. Look at the skulls in this picture. The chimpanzee skull stays small because it has a larger jaw to support. The human skull is larger though because the human jaw is smaller. The extra room gave space for the front part of the brain to grow bigger. This larger front part of the brain, called the prefrontal cortex, allowed us to get smarter and to begin to learn how to speak and to plan for the future. This was an important breakthrough in what we know about the differences between humans and primates. There are probably a bunch of genes that make humans different from the apes, but this one looks like it's really important. The discovery of this mutation helped to inspire other scientists who are learning about the differences between humans and apes too. It's like finding a puzzle piece. Once you know where a new piece fits, you can start adding other pieces around it. It's important to note that there are probably many more factors that were involved in human brain expansion. As more research has been done on this topic, it's becoming clear that the answers about human evolution are not going to come easy. But people are continuing to research it in order to hopefully get some answers on where we came from.